course, had kind of a, a roughish night. Because I needed to watch a little bit of the footage of Notre Dame burning down, but you know, shocked me. But this is not my cathedral university, it's not okay first. So let's talk about the games yesterday. Yesterday, I, when I made uh, the video in the evening, ahead of the Monday night games, uh, summarizing how things are in the leagues, I. Serie A, I made the big assumption that Atalanta is gonna just get a win against Empoli. And as I'm here in full Milan gear, which probably would have been anyway because they didn't did get the win after all, um, but I'm even more so. Atalanta had chances, 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 chances. If I believe the statistics, which I don't, because uh, it seems to be too incredible. Atalanta had 48 shots on goal and 17, uh, uh, 48 shots and 17 on goal. 17 on goal, maybe I can buy, but the 48 shots, that's, um, that's a little bit too uh, high for me, so uh, I need to see this confirmed in other places. I, I don't buy that one. Uh, I know that Empoli had a nice chance at the beginning and then it was all Atalanta, but they couldn't. Um, and there were two or three chances where you have to say, yeah, uh, there needs to be a goal made. <laughs> as simple as that. Well, it wasn't made. And so, Atalanta is now only in sixth. Um, 55 Milan, 54 Roma, 53 Atalanta. It's still a tight race, but that result also uh, kind of shows how not only tight but how seemingly unwilling if you look at the, the string of results the teams are to get this fourth spot it's not that this is a race like for the premier league title where teams need uh, are, are winning winning no there's a lot of uh, tumbles along the way tumbles and stumbles and the one who will stumble least will get that spot it's that uh, stupid in a way. So that was the one result. It also means that Empoli is now within two points of Bologna, 29 points. So for them, these are also vital points that uh, you couldn't ex necessarily expect because Atalanta has been uh, pretty strong this season. So yeah, uh, that result made me actually happy. <laughs> it's all because of a Milan fan, but that made me happy. Um, now, other games, I didn't see the highlights of the two other, uh, or any of the three other big games. There was actually one and before I go to the uh, to England and um, Spain. Actually, in the second German league was the top duel between uh, Köln and Hamburg. Uh, with, I think, yeah, Köln has a very safe lead and Hamburg is also not too far behind. Um, Köln drew 1-1, one, one. Ham Hamburg got the equalizer in the 85th minute, I think, which was before halftime, Köln got the goal. So Hamburg is now three points ahead of um, Union Berlin. By, by the way, it's for me really hard to say Hamburg because in German this is HSV, HSV, Hamburger Sportverein. Uh, I don't feel right saying this in English hard as well for some reason. Uh, I might have it with other. I mean, I say PSG, uh, very much the French spelling, but hard as well. I'm, I'm not sure why I am. Uh, have trouble with it, but maybe it's because I'm German speaking and it doesn't quite look that right. Anyway, so that ends 1 1. Then um, in Spain, Leganes, Real Madrid, 1-1 one, one. Leganes, actually just before halftime gets the lead and once in mind the 51st equalizes. The result doesn't do anything on the table uh, except that, you know, uh, Atletico is now putting a little bit more distance uh, between them and the city rivals. And you clearly have to say that, um, and if I look at the last two seasons, yes, might be that it might be that um, 
Real Madrid has won the Champions League, but if you just look at uh, the league, uh, Atletico is the better Madrid team now for two seasons in, in a row. Uh, Derbys and whatever be them, they are more consistent than Real Madrid. Consistent than the Real Madrid. So yeah, uh, Leganes is square in the middle. I think they're still in eleventh. So uh, it's a point, a prestigious point, but not much more than that. And I saw that Real Madrid was playing in red jerseys. I don't know why, but this bothers me a little because to me Real Madrid in red just doesn't look. And then what for Arsenal? Uh, Obama Young in the 10th makes a goal and I saw that uh, just thereafter Dini was sent off for Watford. Uh, Arsenal are playing and I don't quite get it uh, in their wonderful mint jerseys. I think at Watford you can play in red and white. I don't think you need to break up the mint unless you want to sell some extra, um, some extra shirts of that. Grace. Uh, I mean, Arsenal and Bayern, the mint shirts just don't work. And I have to, I have to say, mint shirts in general don't work except for once. I, th I thought the way Portugal used them, that was actually kind of smart. It looked, it looked weird, but uh, those jerseys look kind of smart in 2016. But that's my personal view of things. I generally dislike mint jerseys. I could maybe let see if a team like Santa Tien would break them out. Alternative for a third jersey. Uh, yeah, there is green in the color scheme, so I would understand that. But yeah, Arsenal uh, hangs on the 1 0 and uh, moves now into fourth spot with one game less than uh, Spurs. So, uh, and given that Spurs still has to play City, uh, so we, I think. Nah. The neutrals would hope that there's some hiccup. Uh, I don't know. I'm, if I look around my office, every, everyone wants Liverpool to become champions. So uh, from that point, by my review, I might become. I, I of course recognize that not everyone wants Liverpool to win. And in, if you're a United fan, especially, then uh, this is like Sophie's choice: is it your city rival or your eternal rival? Crazy. Anyway, uh, so Arsenal probably uh, looks primed to get a third place finish. And also, I gotta say that uh, this was a. Watford is not that far away from London, but this was an away game and Arsenal acquitted themselves quite nicely. Uh, it might be a big week for Arsenal. I mean, if they uh, squeeze past uh, Napoli, which I actually have a good feeling that they will. Arsenal has to be definitely in conversation for uh, at least a Europa, Europa League title. So we'll see about that. Uh, I saw today is kind of a. Uh, I mean, today is of course Champions League, and if I'm not too tired, I of course come and watch. I mean, I really want to see Ajax and Juventus play again. Uh, that first game was so exciting that I really want to see the second game. Uh, but. Premier League, I saw that um, Cardiff is Cardiff is playing uh, kind of this last chance game against the who was the only other team that could slip. Ah, uh, yeah, Brighton, Cardiff, Brighton, Car, Car Cardiff against Brighton. Um, that uh, that seems like a, a last chance game. I, I think if Brighton gets the win. Safely say Cardiff is a goner from the Premier League. That's how it goes. Oh well. Well, I hope you liked this video and um, got some useful inf inf information out of, out of it. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Um, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel 
all things my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.